Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I have with us today Trisha Turner with Turner Design. Welcome, Trisha. Thanks for having me, Joe. Absolutely. You brought with you a friend today. Yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. It really spruces up the place. They plants typically do. So thanks for um, bringing that in. It, it looks great on screen here. Um, before we get started today, I would love it if you could just briefly introduce yourself and share a little bit about what Turner Design is. So my name is Trisha Turner. I am the owner of Turner Design Group. Uh, we are a landscape design and build company. So what we do is we design landscapes. We also provide consultation services for more of like the DIYer or someone that just kind of wants to get some more information before taking that next step. And then we also install the design project or the proposed project. And then we like to maintain it if we're allowed. Um, or we can kind of coach the homeowner on how to maintain the installed project. So we are a Livingston-based company. Uh, we specifically like to work with people in Brighton and Howell, commercial and residential, but we do keep within a 30-mile radius of Howell. That's usually the best way we can keep the drive time down, keep the cost as competitive as possible. Fantastic. So um, really just kind of all stages of your landscaping process is what you would encompass, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And two, it's um, my background and uh, I went to Michigan State, obtained a bachelor's in landscape architecture. And then during that course of education, I stayed within the field, like learning different plants and learning different procedures. So I do feel like our clients see that um, expertise and it's, it's kind of like a blend of horticulture with architecture. And so it's it's definitely a niche that we have. I was going to say that sounds like a, a niche, um, yeah. and that's really exciting because I think that's so valuable. And when you're planning your designs, and especially for somebody like me, I know um, this isn't your first time on the show, but sure. the first time you were here, we talked about how I just do not have a green thumb. So um, for those of us out there that don't have the green thumb, I feel like it's incredibly valuable. So we know. Um, what maybe be what might be a more uh, low maintenance type of plant or. Uh, yeah. A piece of landscaping to put in that would really um, hopefully we can keep alive <laughs> yeah and we provide that service for many clients because some people right. want to do it themselves and that's totally great um, so then we can say okay well this this area is full of Sun oh my gosh I can tell you have deer we can see deer and rabbit damage right upon walking into a property so certain things like that are really important because you don't want to ignore that yeah, I'm sure you see a lot of that out here. I'm oh, lots County. of deer. Yeah. Yes, so lots of deer, lots of bunnies. What do you do to address that? Like, how would you combat something like that? Deer can be really tough because if they're really hungry, they're going to eat whatever they want, even if it's a less desirable plant. But thorns are wonderful. Deer-resistant plants are great. And then if we've got to bring out the big guns, then that's when we would bring out, like, a, a topical repellent. Um, it really it stinks really bad. Um, and then it does wash away with the rain. But sometimes it's nice to apply that right from the onset of a planting because then the deer associate it with tasting poorly. Mm, and then okay. they'll go to the and neighbors then, or somewhere else. Yeah, hopefully they won't come back then. Right, Obviously that's exactly. The idea. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that information with us. Yeah, you're um, welcome. So your business um, this year has been over about 70% uh, has seen over about 70% of direct referrals. Yes. Um, what does that breakdown look like? Yes, it's very exciting because last year we started during COVID and honestly, maybe it was my ignorance. Um, we declared the business in February and I did not think COVID was going to be what it was. So we were very blessed because people were home. So not a lot of marketing was put forth at that time um, because we really weren't sure what the economy was going to do. So um, last year I did join CRSnet referral group and from joining them, I've made some different networking uh, opportunities, different affiliations with other uh, members. In addition, in the fall, I joined the Howell Chamber. So from that 70% breakdown, 50% is complete CRSnet referral, which is huge. And I've, I highly recommend anybody that's interested that's either an entrepreneur or is looking to just connect with people in the community in the Brighton area and it, I believe it goes all the the different groups go from Lansing to Detroit mm -hmm. um, you can try before you buy it you can join and just or not join but um just go to a session with me free of charge and just see what you think um, but the other 50% was combined Howell Chamber referral um, as well as contractors that I work with in in the industry and then client referrals so it's it's been really cool to be able to track that and know 
you know, what's what what investments are paying off. Absolutely. No, that's huge. That's uh, tremendous. Um, how exciting. Um, and especially because it really, I think, referrals hold a lot of weight. So. Oh, and the fact that it's 70% this year, I feel like it's a real testament to the quality of work that our clients are seeing. I mean, they're willing to refer their parents and friends, and it's, it's, it's really been a wonderful, a wonderful journey. So not only do you nurture and grow people's beautiful landscape, but you, you've also been able to nurture and grow this incredible uh, referral base. So yes, that's really thank you. exciting um, to see those relationships prosper and just really uh, benefit your business. Yeah, and I like to take care of people. I do. So it's just, I just it's, so happen to be good at plants. Nature, right? Right? <laughs> so, so I think the referral, it, the referring just comes na natural. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's very exciting. So I know that we talked a little bit um, about kind of your scope of work, mm -hmm. but you have a wide range of pro projects that you do as well. I was wondering yeah. if you could share a little bit about the diversity of your projects and um, expand maybe more on the niche uh, that you offer your, your clients. Yeah, so like any landscaper, we can install mulch and a couple plants here or there, but something that we really excel at are the larger projects, the more dynamic um, outdoor rooms, poolscapes, outdoor kitchens. Um, we also do natural shorelines, uh, boulder seawalls, ledge stone seawalls. So some of those more involved product projects that take a little bit of planning, we're really good at. I have a very strong background in project management and um, I'm able to line up the contractors that are needed for certain pieces at certain times. Um, and also, you got to ebb and flow with the weather. So, and yeah. obviously this past June, we saw a lot of rain. So that was challenging, but very grateful to have understanding clients. And I really feel like communication is absolute key to just keep everybody updated. Absolutely. Um, so I have a couple of questions around the sure. diversity of projects that you just mentioned, um, because I think sometimes it's overwhelming to a homeowner when oh, they're absolutely. looking at starting a project to that at you know, to that scope and magnitude. Yeah. Um, so if somebody was considering a project, let's say uh, maybe an outdoor poolscape, mm -hmm. for example, how, like, what would be the first step in that? Is that something that they, they would call Turner Design Group and is number one and you would manage the project from beginning to end? I think it's a little confusing because as a homeowner, I, I would probably call the pool people first, right? Right, right. <laughs> exactly. And it's a great question. Um, we always like to be called first. Um, but after, and it's, it's always wise, like what I like to do is walk the property with the client and just say, okay, this is going to, we're going to need a lot of drainage here. A lot of times at the pool, a lot of drainage is needed for that sheet runoff on the pool deck and then, um, manipulating the ground to be able to accommodate a pool. So, but it, it's wise for me to kind of see the elevation first, um, and just take a look at the lay of the land, take a look at interest and then we can kind of discuss pool shape because sometimes that will reflect, okay, well now we can't have the pergola room per se because we're not gonna have enough space if you wanna have a huge pool, which is totally fine. It's all about what you value. Um, but definitely in order to start the design process, which is needed so we can do a proper proposal and takeoff, we need that pool footprint. So then the next step would be to contact the pool company. And then, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, so if you have more, go ahead. But I, so yeah. do you have like specific pool people that you work with? Or that we you... don't, okay. and that would be a wonderful, anyone listening, if you've had an excellent experience with a pool contractor, please email us, let us know. Yeah. Because we would love to have that relationship with another contractor. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's, I think, really helpful for listeners, especially, you know, some of our homeowners out there, because I, I do think, yes. that, I mean, it's a huge undertaking, and it's kind of like, where do you start first? Is it the chicken or the yes. egg? So, um, good to know. Start with the design first, and then we can work yeah. around that. So, um, so what about, what do you guys do in the winter? Uh, do you... Uh, you know, do you do any uh, seasonal type of stuff in the winter? Or? Sure, we do not snow plow, which makes us different landscapers. Yeah. Um, so during the winter months, I do like to work with clients and develop those designs, especially more dynamic projects, the poolscapes and more involved projects um, over the winter months so they can be properly organized for the next year. Um, shorelines, natural shorelines are wonderful to work on. Um, over the winter because the DEQ permit takes 90 plus days to get approved. 
So that's quite lengthy. And we just completed a beautiful natural shoreline. We're taking pictures of it this week. So I'm really excited for those to be on our website and on social media. Um, but they signed April 15th and we were granted approval. It was literally 89 days. So it was, I think it was the first week in July. That's a long time for a client to have to just sit and wait and be excited. So um, over the winter is a great time for that. But we are also growing our interior planting division. And we do have an affiliation with LiveWall on the west side of the state, which we really feel has a superior product when it comes to those, uh, like those wall interior planting gardening gardens. So, so do people um, do those in their homes? Are, do you are you seeing them when they're in corporate environments? Yes, both both, both okay. residential and commercial. Um, and plants have power in Michigan. We are indoors so much, and the plants have the power to air purify. They have the power to uplift a poor mood. Um, productivity of employees can go up and they're also great noise buffer. And I think a lot of people don't realize all those positive attributes. And this little guy that's um, in the frame is a Zenzi plant, a Zenzi plant ZZ. So it is a dwarf variety of the Zenzi plant. And this plant is so good. It's so tolerant to like shade or sunlight in a room. Um, because at, in my residence, I have um, trees over my house. So in the winter, I get a lot of light, but in, this, in the summer months, the foliage comes out on all of my trees and it's very dim. Mm -hmm. This thing has been in my bedroom for a year and it looks great. Yeah. And it only needs water once a month. So it's always when I'm like pairing plants with people's homes, whether it's outside or inside, let's look at what you can actually maintain realistically and, and what you're willing to take on. So, but this is a very low maintenance plant and it emits oxygen, which is a wonderful plant for your bedroom. Awesome. So if somebody's considering, you know, some having you come in and to help design this, this interior sure. piece, either via corporate or, um, you know, at their personal residence, right. again, what does that first step look like? Um, yeah, the first step would, um, we have a handy app on our website, so you okay. can actually book a consultation on the website if you, if you prefer. And we can do Zoom if interested, but it does seem like with, you know, the vaccination being out and things like that, people are a little more comfortable to bring people like me into their homes. Um, so we do have that option, but it's taking a lighting audit, taking a look at your natural light, what kind of light you have, and then irrigation if you want to hand water or irrigate. We have lots of possibilities. Awesome, Trisha. So we do have to wrap up here, unfortunately. It's been a great conversation today. I know that you guys are hiring, and yes. so is everybody else right now. So sure. really quickly, in 10 seconds or less, how is Turner Design uh, di Group different, and um, what does that look like for employees? Sure. We are a team that will build you up instead of break you down. I've worked at a lot of different places, and uh, you know the morale is, is huge. So we're looking for wonderful people that have a willingness to learn and a great attitude. And real quick, your contact information? Yes, turnerdesignmi.com, and on there you can oh, contact us on the website, um, email sales at turnermi.com, and then 800-570-0675. Thank you. Awesome, you've been fantastic. Thank you for all the information today, and um, we'll see you again soon. Thank you, Janelle.